Okay, so I don't believe I'll leave those out for future checking. I'm getting kind of crazy going doing this over and over, but I don't. I just don't have a place to set them, especially to be in the video. You know, but I mean, I could. There's hardly even enough room to do that over there on my desk. I have a, a desk over there. It was a built-in desk in one of the neighbor's houses, and they put it out on the curb when they were remodeling. And I got it. it's made out of ash and ash, ash solid ash frame, and face frame, and uh, an ash plywood top. It's actually in, it's a nicer desk than the one I got in my room, except for I made an add-on for it out of white oak, and that's real nice. That's nice. A uh, place to put my was put my elbow in my mouth and. Uh, to uh and and slide full slide out shelves two big wide full slide out shelves to put stuff on okay so i'm going to put this back on here with these and there is several of them that's why it kind of made me really look but I didn't want it to be uh, end up being loose. Is why I'm going around and you know making sure. And if this doesn't seem tight enough, then I will try those two. That, uh, but I think they're the door screws to hold the. I mean the the door to hold the whole door unit on the front. Yeah, they feel like they're going to tighten up good. Because the whole dryer rattles and you've got a lot of vibration, you know, so I don't want anything that's not tight enough, something that would come loose. If this thing came loose and was dangling around there, even if it didn't short out on anything, it would uh, not work right and be dangerous. That's weird. It's tight, but the, <laughs> but it, the bracket's not down I mean it's not coming off but that's just kind of unexpected all right now back to the rest of the work oh wait I need screws I shouldn't have put all those back already I kind of had a feeling it wasn't time to put those back yet one two three four one two three Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. That's odd. One, two, three, four. Well, I can't. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. It's probably those bigger ones. I'm, I'm, I'll be able to tell. I'm getting to where I'm kind of recognizing them when I look at them uh, in the box. Okay, now I'll be able to plug her up. You know, I think it would be easier to uh, <clears throat> be easier to do the wiring with that thing off because it's sharp and it's right there in the way. Let's do that now. I'll need my crimpers and my new my new ends. So get my new ends out. Let's see, do I want to take the staples off? I think maybe I just want to cut a small hole in the... Yeah, I'm just going to cut a small hole right in the middle of it here. So I can just get them out. Because if I take it all the way off... Ooh, or I'll cut a huge hole. I was wanting to be able to not lose them out of the bag, but... Get the couple out and... Is it? I didn't make it so big. They're just. I imagine if I try. I didn't want to lose them. Yeah, they're not coming out so easy that it'll be a real problem. <laughs> it was way bigger. It kind of split instead of just making a slit like I wanted. Kind of went downwards. Get one more out. I should. I only plan on needing two, but. You know how you drop things and stuff when you don't mean to? Okay, now. 
yeah oh uh, one more time i've showed it before but here is the one i had bought several years ago that it's got two prongs on it and it just doesn't look anything like that other one so i don't know that it's the right one but these are high heat quarter inch female and uh let's see if they fit on the tabs like they should oh yeah i need need i may need four of them looks like they're gonna fit good well actually let's inspect i may i, I wasn't planning on redoing these and let, they're not bad yeah they're okay let me look at them again the two uh get some more light on the subject here those are in fine shape they're all right but this that one's okay too really yeah it's okay it's just this yellow one i only really needed one and i bought a hundred but i did that because of the pricing I don't want to pay, you know, three to five dollars for one. I mean, they'll sell them to you like that. I pay nine dollars for a hundred. But this wiring isn't broken. But you, well, the little one, insulation's coming off of it. Let's see, yeah, I've got enough room to do it, so I need to go get my my wire strippers and a wire cutter. And uh, I don't know if I want that. Well, if I need the light again, I'll get it. But uh, I was looking up there, seeing if it had a clock on it. I'm like, well, I don't have a clock on it. it. Just tells you how long you've been recording. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get that and my wire strippers. Oh, I need the crimpers. Okay. I think I really kind of might. The, the, the light's a, uh, a blessing and a curse. It, uh, it always shines in my eyes, no matter where I put it. Or gets in my way. The, the light itself gets in my way. Let's try going this way. Hang it there like that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. I'm trying. I don't know how much extra. I don't. I'd have to do a lot of unwinding to get a bunch of extra. That's really tight in there. I'm just going to go back to as far as I can tell I need to. Let's see. There it looks like I need to. The wiring itself, I think, is okay. I think it was okay, you know, even though the insulation was burnt, but... <sighs> yeah, you know, see, when wiring gets too hot... Uh, let's see, what do we want to get? I don't know how good that is into the deal, but when it gets too hot, it can build up a lot of resistance. And that, uh, they both got pretty hot. And I'm sure that's high temp uh, insulation. It's, uh, I don't know if I cut it back far enough or not. We'll see. I might want to cut it back some more. Okay, let's get, uh, get the stripper out. That's the crimper. Uh, yeah, that. Well, it's got. No, it doesn't have a stripper on it. But, uh, it's kind of, kind of in the way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and strip. A bit off of this and then see if it's gonna be okay. 
get the wrong one, you'll <laughs> you'll cut wires. That sure does seem to be a lot less. Looks like I might have cut one strand. Yeah, I cut one strand. But it's, uh, it's all, I mean, that's okay. I don't love it, but, uh, I might redo it. Oh, that's pretty hard right in there. That's a jumper wire. Okay, well, I'm going to do this other part, one, one strip on it, and then see. I can do it again and go far. I have to go that much farther again, and I really don't have a heck of a lot of extra wire. But this one's also hard further back than I realized. I can see better now that I moved my line. Well, I just cut it off on accident. I couldn't see where I was at. Where did that land? It's not in the motor. That motor's wide open. you got to be careful when you're working on these dryers that you don't get something in the motor. I'll have to make sure I do not see it yet. I do not see my piece, but I don't see it caught in the motor either. So I'm going to figure it's okay. I, yeah, there's cutters on these strippers. And uh, now that I can't see, I'll use the cutter instead of the stripper. Let's go ahead and see how far I need to go on my deal. Well, actually, with yeah, okay, not real far. The way, uh, yeah, and you have to pay attention to how big the hole is before you crimp it. Uh, that it you get two. I have two wires to get in there. And it, let's see a little further back than that. Right there. This one's not. Uh... There we go. I didn't get quite far enough back though. Let's see how I did on that. You got to watch your strippers. Sometimes they don't have the right size. Oh, I cut several strands that time. I'm not going to use that pair anymore. Do I have? I have another pair of strippers, but I might go grab my utility knife. Seems like it's not not working out good. Let's see. I'm going to go look at those other ones first. These are my favorite pair, but they're not sizing good for that wire. Either one of them. Oh yeah, I got these fancy dancing ones that I hardly ever use. <laughs> You see, set the depth and everything. I think the main reason I don't use them is because I can't see uh, where to put them in. Too good. Let's try the little one first. I'm going to strip a little more of it. Yeah, it's hard to see. But it's also pretty hard to do it with... Uh... Well, let's do this one then. I may end up having to get a little more wire out of that loom. I mean, this would be okay, but I don't like... I mean, I did cut about four strands off that time. It's got that stopper that's in my way now. And unless I want to start over and I really don't have enough wire to keep doing that, I think I'll use my... I'll cut back a little more and then... Let's see. Now that I've gotten rid of all the hard part of the insulation at least. Let's see if I can do do this one a little more. Not that much. Yeah, that's not too easy to do. Sometimes, I used to be pretty good at this. I never had wire strippers. I always used some kind of knife. Yep, cut the whole thing right off. So I was better off the other way. That was the longer one, so... <laughs> I'm still okay. 
Hey, I'm better off losing a strand, a strand or so than that. Okay. Uh, that's why I didn't want to... I, th I think I should... I'll put those other ones in my toolbox thinking, well, I don't want to use them anymore. I think I'm going to use them again now. But I'll try... Yeah, I just can't... I can't see with that bar, that stopper. I can't see to... I never can see to pick the one I want. Can't even see what I'm getting. That's why I don't use them. If you're stripping a lot of wires and get them set, they're pretty cool. But I guess you got to be in an optimal position, maybe at a workbench or something. Go back to these, and uh, I'm probably just I could have, maybe I could have got a size up or something. Start there. That ain't gonna do it. One more. Don't go any further than that. There we go. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, it's is all right. I still have one. It this it, it didn't cut it way back at the installation. It cut it <laughs> kind of halfway. Well, that could have been done at some other point, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I mean just not today, but I mean me, but Okay, we don't need to get a whole lot more of that. Yeah, that's something you got, I always I forgot to do. I always cut through the the insulation and then open it up just a little bit to pull it off, and then you won't do that as much. That cutting them, you know, messing them up. Okay, I knew that. Just forgot. Sometimes you'll scrape a whole strand off just, just trying to pull that off the end. Let's see how I did this time. Yeah, that's okay. The small one is good now. It's the one that's got the least to spare. That's pretty heavy, hefty wire there. Yeah, it's okay. All right, now let's get my one of my deals. Where's my crimpers? They're in my back pocket. Okay, I think I can get to them. I may have to. I don't know. Yeah, I think I might want to. Well, let's just see if I can get them in there. How hard it's going to be to get them in there first. This one is not as long as the other one anymore. I might have to. I have. I mean, I don't have high temperature zip ties, though. I have some zip ties, but not. Probably not what I need. Oh, there's some. They got little grab uh, pliers on the end. So I can't get it to slide through at all. I mean, it has it. Maybe it moved enough. Did it move? Yeah, it did move some. I just need to get them matched up. Yeah. Bending over this is killing me. Oh, okay. It keeps moving too, so it makes me overextend. If I can get that to set there, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm going to have to try to stick them in at the same time. I don't know if I can. Though. If I try to twist them, they'll just get bigger in diameter. Maybe a, I can get them to kind of stick together. Put them in a spot where they uh, end up being the same length as what I'm trying to do now. Okay. I hope this is big enough to hold all of it. Yeah, it is. Good. Okay. Now if I can get the crimper on there without it falling off. I'll be alright. It's really weird trying to get this crimper to... Light is blinding me. Okay, I'll get it kind of where it won't fall off. And then maybe I can get this thing on here. Sometimes I go ahead and put the uh, the deal in the crimper. Oops. I'm really having a 
hard time getting that thing on there. It's not working either. Lights get in my face when I get down low like that. Yeah, there's... I did never have crimpers either. I always used the vice grips. And these do crimp way better. Well, I'd say that. If you can get them in there. That's my big problem now. Okay, I'm going to try it the other way. I'm going to put this in the crimpers. It's going to have to be that way. And, uh... Is that it? That's it right there. Put that in the crimper. And then put the wire in there. If I can get it back in there. Sometimes that's tricky. This is luckily a big enough throat that I think I can do it. There we go. Usually I try to crimp them in more than one spot, but I ain't going to be able to do that. Well, it's it crimped it pretty good, though. Yeah, you can't pull it out, so always test them like that. Uh, I don't know how many times I've crimped the living crap out of stuff, especially back when I used to only use vice grips, which was up until the last, well, it's been 20 years ago now. 2000, I got a job installing equipment and wiring, you know, battery, battery work and uh, and tel telephone company central offices, they call, we call them telcos, they call them telcos. And that's when I bought these electrical tools. And so they're 20 years old now, but they look, they look pretty new because I don't, don't. Since then, I haven't done a lot of a lot of work with tools and stuff. I've, and uh, but all my ever since I was a kid, you know, I just figured out how to do it with. Well, I didn't have vice. I don't. You know, I don't think vice grips were a th were invented when I was in when I was like a kid in the '60s. I didn't know about them. I used pliers, and pliers, needle nose. I didn't have a lot of tools, of course, as a kid. But uh, anyway, I remember. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I remember when I was probably twelve, ten, twelve, getting some off-brand ones, and they didn't work with the crap. And uh first pair I had. But the baby vice scripts, that's the ones I really like to use for stuff like this, but uh didn't get them till I was grown. Didn't. Okay, it's on there. And that's a jump of wire. Okay. Yeah, I think that will work. Get those tools out of there. Okay. Now, what do I need next? What am I going to be doing? Oh, I need the nut driver of the right, and the right, probably, well, I don't know the screw size yet. I'm going to need to figure that out. So before I even drive myself crazy and find the right screws, how many holes are in this thing? I might try to go through down through there because bleeding over like this, I've about worn myself out. We'll see. So one, two, three. There's only four holes in the thing in the back of the dryer, so I'll need four screws that fit that. And I was saying I thought I could find them in the 